and welcome to today's video. Now this is my May monthly favourites video for you guys, so it's everything beauty related that I've been loving during May. So you guys may have also noticed that my background looks a little bit different. I have actually moved house, which I explained to you guys um, a little while ago. At the moment everything's in boxes and it's all over the place, so I've made myself a little makeshift set. So I really hope you guys like it. Let's get started because I've got a lot to get through. So first of all, I'm going to talk about a couple of products that I got from QVC. Now, I'm so excited to tell you guys about QVC. Um, some of you may already know about it, some of you may not. Um, I had no idea, basically, primarily they're kind of like um, a, uh, a shopping channel um, on TV. That's how I would always assume them to be. But actually, you can buy stuff online now, so that's really, really cool. They do tons of different brands, they've got loads of exclusive offers, and also they do stuff um, which you cannot get um, over here in the UK, which is super exciting. So they've kind of got like a few summer picks at the moment that they picked out for the summer, and I've picked out my um, best bits of those, and so I thought I'd talk to you about them today. So the first one is by Tarte. Now look at the cute little packaging on this. Oh, I love it. This is basically um, lip lacquer. It's like a lip lacquer trio. So it's a really cute little set. Obviously you could have it for yourself, just saying. Um, or you could have it as a really nice little present but basically it's super, super exciting because Tarte you cannot get in the UK. So when I saw this I was like, oh my god, I need this in my life. So these are basically, there's like three of them. So okay, there's the first one which is kind of like a corally sort of colour and that's called Passionate. I've got that on my lips at the moment. Then there's um, one called Plush which is a pinky sort of colour. And then you've got one called Polished, which is a nudie sort of colour. I really like these because I want something um, for, especially the summer, that I can wear on my lips. It's kind of like a really subtle sort of colour that's not going to be too sticky, too annoying, um, but also that I can build up. And that's what I really like about these. They give you amazing colour, but the intensity of them, you can either have them quite light if you want to, or you can pop a couple of layers on and they look super beautiful. Or you could actually put a lipstick underneath them and um, pop these over the top, really intensify the colour and just make them last and last and last. But the lasting power of these is incredible. So I love those. Okay, and then also from QVC, I also got this which is the Declior, um, I was going to read the French one then, but it's not actually that, um, a thousand grain body exfoliator. So this is basically incredible for me because I tan a lot, um, especially in the sort of summertime, I like to have a bit of a tan on me, you know, a lot of us do. Equally, if you suffer from dry skin or things like that, it's just nice to exfoliate, or just in general, it's nice to just exfoliate your skin. Um, some exfoliators I have tried and I haven't been that happy with because they just don't seem to do anything so this for me is great because it's actually got little sort of bits in and um, this has got um, grapefruit and essential oils in it so it smells absolutely the it's just the dream Ah, oh, it's amazing. Anyway, I use this um, with kind of like exfoliating gloves, like exfoliating mitt, just to make sure that I really get in deep to my body. And that is kind of once a week for me. And it just means that it just kind of smooths my skin down, gets rid of any of the, you know, kind of bits around like your elbows or your under your arms where, bit, bit, where stuff builds up. And equally just gives you a really nice deep clean. So I absolutely love that. Love Declior, they're such a nice, nice brand. Okay, then moving on, let's go on to some face wipes. Now I know people are up in the air about face wipes, but for me, if I'm feeling super lazy and I just want something that's really nice and not going to absolutely destroy my skin, these are really lovely. So these are by Simple, and these are their um, micellar um, cleansing wipes. I don't know if you guys can really see because of the lighting in here, so I'm going to kind of tilt them down, which is really annoying, but anyway, I hope you can see those. So basically these have kind of got like almost... Um, uh, braised sort of like the well I don't know if they're braised or raised sort of bumps on them which means that it just kind of gets into your skin a little bit better gets a really deep clean going on in there but because it's micellar water or micellar solution whatever they've got going on in there it just means it's really gentle on my skin it just leaves my skin feeling really nice and soft almost like I've literally just put, you put water on but it just helps me to remove my makeup when I really really can't be bothered to do my full routine so those are great for me and also if you're going to something like a festival or on holiday this year, those are great to pack with you, amazing. Okay, next, um, I was just about to pick up my lens cap, you don't want to be seeing that. Okay, so moving on, let's go on to some foundation. Now I've actually shown you guys this in my last couple of videos, so I did it like get ready with me. And this is by Revlon, it is their Colour Stay um, Combination slash Oily Skin Foundation, and this is in 310 Warm 
golden. I love this because at the moment I'm suffering with quite um, oily combination skin, whereas normally I get really normal skin. I think it's just the time of year because it's quite hot over here at the moment, so particularly in my T-zone, I'm just finding I'm getting really oily skin. So if you want a really nice drugstore foundation that is combating things like oily skin, this is amazing. The staying power of, power of it, sorry, is brilliant, and the colour for me was just fantastic, the way it goes on, the way it applies, um, it just feels lovely, and it almost feels like I don't have anything on, but it gives me really nice coverage, so I love that. Just helps to take that shine away, which is great. Okay, then let's move on to, um, let's go for this. Oh my gosh, you guys have probably heard of this, but I just wanted to talk about it again because I love it. This is Liz Earl, and this is their Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is incredible for if you want to melt away that makeup and all of the, you know, draw out all the rubbish from your skin, um, but leave it feeling so nice and soft and polished and clean. You can use this daily as well. You just take it off with a muslin cloth afterwards and it really just gets deep into the skin and just, as I say, takes away all your makeup and everything else and it just leaves you feeling incredible. So that's an amazing, amazing cleanser and I'm loving it. Okay, second to last, then I have um, this Body Shop um, Honey Bronze. And this is basically um, an illuminator, well it's like a highlighting sort of dome illuminator thing. Um, basically it's like a cream sort of stick and you just pop it on sort of under your eyes or wherever you want it to go, Cupid's bow, that sort of thing. And um, it's just so pretty. This one is in 03 and it's kind of like a bronzy sort of colour. So they also do, um, they do a slightly lighter colour than this and they do a pinky colour. Depends what kind of skin tone you want or what sort of colour you want for the summer. I'd say definitely this one's a really nice bronze look. Um, you can get more cheap kind of ones, so they're more pinks. Anyway, they're just beautiful and it just really highlights this sort of area for me and it's just absolutely fab. It's part of their Honey Bronze Rains, uh, range even, <laughs> rains, I can't talk today. Um, and I'm just absolutely loving it. It's just a really light way to kind of get a bit of highlighting into your face, which is lovely. Um, and then the last thing is this, which is by Ciate. Now this is, I think, relatively new, but this is their Olivia Palmero, I think, range. I don't know if she's just done one or whether it's just it's a range, but anyway, um, this is a really lovely red and it's called Hutch and she said it's her go-to red. So I tried it and you can see I have it on my nails at the moment and I'm just in love. The brush on this is really thick and sort of wide, so when you're actually painting it on, it just applies so nicely and oh my gosh, I just absolutely loved it. Um, I found that it dried really, really quickly and it was literally dry within like a minute, which was great for me because it meant I could actually still do stuff. And it's lasted really, really well. We're talking a few days in here and um, it's only got kind of like a couple of chips in there. So, but that's probably because I've just been absolutely hammering my hands. So um, yeah, I would say this is so, so good. The colour is just absolutely beautiful. If you want a really lovely red, that will last you a long time and will still look beautiful and timeless, then that is definitely a good one for you. And that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have your own May favourites or just monthly favourites in general, if you're loving something so much beauty related right now, write a comment below and please, please, please let me know what it is because I'd love to give it a go if I haven't done already and I'd love to hear from you guys, of course. If you want to see my last video, which was a get ready with me for the summer time, which is an afternoon tea, then click on this little bottle of nail polish right now and that will take you back over to that video and you can go and watch that and enjoy some more of this space. And then in the meantime, give this video a big thumbs up for me and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and I will see you guys in a few days time in my next video. Bye! And then this is just a close up of my outfit just in case you guys wanted to see what I was wearing that day. I will of course link all the details below.